Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Bridge brought to you by Business Day. I am Arisa Ogu and today we're going to be talking about exporting. We have two fantastic guests in the studio today. Belama Alabo, head of the export desk at GTB and Mr. Copper Gary himself, Ifedayo Akwesho. Yeah. Stay tuned guys. <music> For the Central Bank of Nigeria, our first work now to make sure say price stable. But to fit achieve this kind of thing, we must make sure say money stable plus financial environment with sound and chance to take collect capital without disturb for the real sector. This now why since 1960, the Central Bank of Nigeria (CBN) they promote financial system. We sound for Niger Plus interventions and funding of Orishirishi development initiatives them. For inside agriculture, micro, small and medium enterprises them and infrastructure sector them. The reason why we did put hand now to take increased credit flow, go inside strategic sectors to take reduced financial exclusion rate and stimulate value chain development. With guarantees, rebate, and direct funding, them we support plenty Orishirishi initiatives. We will target to take create wealth and plenty job opportunity. Them Shena agriculture business you do MSMEs Abi infrastructure development. Make you visit www.cbn.gov.ng. Abi make you waka enter any CBN branch to take know how you fit take create wealth plus job opportunity. Them. This message now from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Bridge. I'm Arisa Ogu and today we're going to be talking about foreign exchange, real estate, insurance, exporting, how to make a killing in the stock market. Hi everyone, my name is Afua Ose. I'm a co-founder of She Leads Africa. My name is Banko Lola Femi. I'm co-founder of Big Cabal Media. Welcome to Utopia Beauty. We're an online beauty store that sells skincare, hair care, and makeup products. I am Chef Fregs Bubemi Fregene, executive chef and owner of Chef Fregs. Every single product that we stock is tried and tested by my team and I. We do a detailed menu here at Chef Fregs so that um, the team has very specific instructions on what to do. For me, one of the coolest things about being an entrepreneur, especially one who's working in the creative media space, is the fact that I can wear my hair however I like and I can get away with not having to wear a suit. And you need to stay watching The Bridge. Welcome back, guys. So today we're going to be discussing exporting. I'm super excited about this episode because I've had a personal experience with trying to export out of Nigeria. I recently wrote a book called The Smart Money Woman, which became a bestseller across Africa. I went on a book tour and then I tried to set, um, set up distribution in different African countries and it was a bit of a problem. So believe me when I say that I'm excited to speak to, you know, some of the ex experts in this matter. So Mr. GTB, how can you help us when it comes to exporting? Well, exporting is pretty easy if you know the rules in Nigeria. And most of the challenges that exporters face are things that can easily be resolved if they go through the proper channels. So I'm here to advise, I'm here to pick up some of the problems that they experience and, and see how we can throw points. more light. Here. Fantastic. I would like to go to, over to you now, Mr. Corpus Gary. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about your business and because I know that you export and maybe some of the challenges or the thing experiences that you've had when it comes to exporting. Yeah, um so far so good since we started business. Yeah. We've been able to build a brand using the social media. Okay. And so people around the world. the world tend to ask for our product right now we have a distributor in the uk and we have a lot of challenge when it comes <laughs> taking to the taking product. the product out of the country yeah. because by the time you look at the cost of transporting your products right from nigeria down to the uk then you look at it doesn't really worth it and it's that's amazing the... because you know you'd think that with everything that's going on with the economy 
the thing that we need to be supporting right now, both big corporates and the government, is how do we foster an environment where we're encouraging small businesses to be able to create products that are exportable, right? Because that will solve our foreign exchange problems long term. But when you see a situation where the logistics, it costs you more, more than the cost of the product um, to take it to different countries, it's a problem. So what are you guys doing to sort of address that or help to fine tune some of these issues? Okay. First, at the present moment, the country has moved towards zero oil exporting in the nearest future. And so they're promoting non-commercial exports. This is coming from the very top, from the office of the Ministry of Finance, from NEPC itself. And a lot of small incentives have been set up to assist the exporters in the ways of export financing, export grants. Small, export grants? So yes. you can actually get free money to export your goods? Yes, you can get free money, but this money usually comes after you have exported. Okay. So it's like a reward for exporters because Fantastic. in order to solve the present foreign exchange scarcity issues in Nigeria, the way to go is to promote exports. Mm -hmm. And I hear a lot of the big talk, you know, like you said, from the top about how we need to start creating goods that are exportable, but I'm not seeing enough of helping small businesses. So is it the corporates that are getting these grants or, you know, who, which small businesses are getting them? Oh, the grants are available to every business. Every business. Yeah. Small, medium and large enterprises. As long as you are a bona fide exporter registered with the right agencies, and exporting through the right channels. The grants are available to you. All you need is information. Most yeah. of the challenges that exporters have today come basically because they do not go through the right channels. And then challenges in logistics can also be attributed to this because if you go through the right channels, then the standards will be okay, the mm. packaging will be okay, the export will be documented, and at the very end, you will be able to assess most of these packages because they come from regulated agencies which deal with just regulated and documented exports. I have a question yeah. for you. <laughs> what, what method are you guys using to let we, the SMEs, know yeah, about this? Yeah, because you need to create because awareness. Most, most yeah. times, you, if you're not privileged to be in programs like this, you don't get to know this, have this information at time. Yeah. Oh. And since we all know the way social media <laughs> has gone right now, I guess we should push it more. Yeah. We get to see that information and we get to use it. Okay, this has been on all GT Bank platforms, social media. In fact, the, at the beginning of the year, we had an exporters forum where we brought together regulators from all the different sectors, mm -hmm. brought together exporters far mm -hmm. and wide. It was a very big event. And then we tried to get all these people to synergize mm -hmm. and see how the challenges being, ex being experienced by the exporters can be solved by the regulators. And then information can also be put out there. And you know what's interesting? I find that like with this show, the whole idea for the bridge was so that we could show um, millennials what kind of financial products were available to them because I find that a lot of people don't know these things. I never knew that GTB had an export desk. <laughs> and I feel like I know a lot about finance. So are you sure that it's because... So you said something about um, putting the, uh, having events for regulators. But is that the best way to reach retail customers? Like the small businesses? They're not necessarily talking to regulators directly. But maybe you should be engaging them in a way that... In a medium that they understand. Because I know so many businesses who are producing locally and are very interested in exporting, but the, it sounds like a daunting um, prospect. So a way that you can sort of break down that information, you mentioned, you know, doing it the right way. What are these right, you know, channels? Um, it will interest you to know that GT Bank offers free financial advisory services to exporters. So okay. all you have to do before you go into a business, during the prospecting stage, all you have to do is contact GT Bank. Okay. And our numbers are available, GT Connect, or on any other platform you can, social and media, Twitter, questions. Facebook. Just ask questions, and you will receive full information. And we also offer services where you get offers, and we help you review them. We go through this with you, try to grow the business. Yeah. We recently had an event called the GT Bank Food and Drinks, where we also grew the we try to grow SMEs and advertise their businesses we have platforms where they can market these products mm. both here in Nigeria and abroad so 
we're doing a lot. The information that you need is available if you just ask. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So what can you do? What Do you offer anything in terms of helping to, because I would imagine that as the export desk of a huge bank like GTB, you have big corporate clients who export as well as small um, clients. So I, I, I'd imagine that you, there's a way that you can act as a medium um, to help with the logistics issues. So for example, if a big exporter has space in their container going to a certain country, you can help them sell it to you know, a smaller SME that might not have as much money, but can take advantage of the scale of the big um, corporates. Are these like matches that you, you make? Well, the matches are not exactly in that line, but like I mentioned earlier, during um, our forums, our export forums, people can network. Mm. The big fish, the big fish is available. The small fish is available. Mm. The small fish can get to latch on to the big fish and take advantage of whatever opportunities these present. Mm. These are the aims of. These are part of the aims of um, having these forums that bring all sorts of people together. Amazing. Um, I don't know about you, but I definitely want to hear about the export financing. What kind of collateral do you need for that? What kind? What is the minimum sort of like um, well, like transaction like you can do? Yeah. Now the export the export financing comes from there are several types of it mm. depend but they are all tailor made to to fit different products and different businesses. Now we have products that come directly from the government mm. through Nexim, through the Bank of Agriculture, through the Bank of Industry that we can help you assess. Okay. And then we also have GT Bank tailor made products, but these will depend on your particular kind of business. So you're saying that the interest that you pay on that, um, on a GTB um, export finance sort of um, structure would depend on the type of business that you are doing. Definitely, yeah. So it doesn't matter. It can be as, so it can be as small as you know, possible. It's not, you don't have any minimums. It doesn't, it doesn't hinder anything. Sounds like the interest rate is like the regular interest rate. <laughs> no. no, that's why I said it's still, it's still a made, it's still it's a made still to suit. Made each business and can so if i was exporting books for instance can my books be collateral for the export financing definitely we could structure something that suits your kind of business amazing okay so just to round up i wanted to ask a question about payments okay. so i find that you know living in nigeria and trying to export your goods let's say i had like an online course that i was selling or mr copper gary wanted to sell his gary online and you wanted you know your your clients abroad to be able to make payments online on your website there are lots of challenges so for example paypal doesn't really allow you to you know have a nigerian account and receive payments as far as the last time i checked amazon for you to do create space and do your, um sell your books online and they print it for you and whatever you need an american bank account it's quite or a european bank account it's quite frustrating so what do what um kind of products do you have coming or do you already have that can help us solve these problems these problems can be solved using our gt collections for gt collections we can tailor make a payment platform that will enable you to collect your monies and receive them in good time. Also, you can receive direct transfers into your account. So, no online payments? Online payments. GT Collections. GT Collections. I'm definitely yeah. looking for that. Are you looking for yeah, it? Sure, I am. Jim Joe! I want to die. Uh, what, uh, calm down. What is the problem? That bank, huh? they value with all my money. Oh, oh, the Wonder Bank. Yes. They made it with all my entire savings after promising to, to double my investment. Oh. Hey, I'm finished. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. But remember, I warned you that those Wonder Banks and Ponzi schemes are illegal. They come up with all sorts of schemes to give you a hundred percent interest or more on your deposit uh, within a very short period. Yes. After collecting your money, they disappear. Hey! Uh, Many unsuspecting investors have been duped by these so-called banks and uh, financial houses. <laughs> yes. Next time, when you want to put your money in any investment, <laughs> either in any bank or any financial house, make sure you do a thorough investigation through the financial regulators in the sector. Hi. 
I finished it. Beware of scammers. Don't put your life's investment in wonder banks and other questionable institutions. This message is from the Financial Services Regulation Coordinating Committee, FSRCC. Thank you so much. It's so great to have, you know, all this information. That's very selfish because obviously <laughs> I, I really want to be a Pan-African brand and exporting is something that's really um, important to me. So thank you for all the information that you've provided. Did you find this helpful? Very, very helpful. <laughs> I'm definitely excited about my exporting potential from all the tips that we've heard from our fantastic guests. So thank you so much, Mr. Belema Alabo, head hey. of the export desk at GTB. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Mr. Copper Gary. Thank you for having me here. I really had a nice time here. And let's continue this conversation on social media. My handle is at Smart Money RSA. You can also follow Business Day at Business Day NG. And I look forward to hearing all your ideas on what you'd like to export and your own experiences when it comes to exporting out of Nigeria. See you next time.